Katie Piper admits that she received an awkward call from her bank after they spotted unusual activity from her account. Loose Women panelist Katie Piper, 38, says her bank suspected she had been defrauded after unusual transactions were spotted on her online account. Katie received the call on Thursday and was left feeling awkward when she explained where the money had gone. Katie tweeted in view of her 303,000 followers. Bank just rang me to check if I had been defrauded online. No, that was just me depressed shopping the other day hashtag awkward. Dozens of Katie's fans were amused by the tweet and many took to the comments to share their own experiences. Sam said, you should have said yes if they had already been dispatched. When I am stressed, I spend like I am in Vegas. Hope today is a better day for you. Deirdre added, my bank did the same once too. I was having a spending day for clothes and shoes, they rang me and went through the spends in each shop, yes, that's me, yep, me too, and that one. The bank lady just started laughing. While Donovan echoed, I had this at Christmas time in Oxford Street one year. They called it unusual activity. L thought, I am not with my large family in Christmas. Several others also checked in to see if Katie was feeling better after shopping while depressed. Robo asked. Hope you're doing better Katie. And Jane said, sorry to hear there was a need for depressed shopping. It comes as Katie has been rallying around Deborah James to raise money for her Bowel Babe Fund. She has shared her support for the BBC podcast host on social media and shared links to her fundraiser. Following the news that Deborah is receiving end-of-life care because her body can't continue anymore, Katie Penn, you changed so many people's lives. You have spread so much joy and kindness. An everlasting impact. At the time of writing, Deborah's fundraiser has raised £4,116,653 which will go towards clinical trials, research and campaigns to spread information about bowel cancer. Yesterday, Deborah was honoured with a damehood for raising awareness about the illness since she was diagnosed in 2016. Earlier this year, Katie was also honoured for her services to charity and victims of disfigurement injuries.